Hello summoners and welcome to another episode of Pro Guides' Best Champions to Main, now on patch 1216. The champs we pick for this series are strong picks with high performance but have low, low ban rates and are unlikely to be nerfed anytime soon. They are reliable picks for climbing and are worth investing your time in. We also have a series that covers the most broken contested picks in each role, so be sure you're subbed to the channel so you don't miss out when we post those as well. We'll be starting things out in the top lane with Singe. After months of being a dominant champ in both solo lanes, Singe got a nerf that dropped him down to the middle of the pack. But apparently, him being perma broken is on Riot's agenda, so they immediately gave him some huge buffs to fix that. Now, he's right back to being in the OP tier. When you play Singe, be sure to run Ghost Ignite for your summoners. Ghost gives even more speed for navigating teamfights and Ignite is just way, way better than TP so you can get cheesy kills in lane and guarantee kills on backline carries when you go to teamfight. Before we go any further, I just want to give a huge shout out to our coaches over at ProGuides.com. Our meta videos and guides like this are a great way to give you a push in the right direction, but if you're super serious about climbing, you'll want to go check those guys out. They're all top level players and they're available 24-7 just waiting to share everything they know with you. So stop grinding your face into the wall alone and head on over for some professional help now. Getting back to our list, our second top laner for this patch is Lilia. The vast majority of champions played right now in the top lane are either tanks, juggernauts, or bruisers that take longer, more extended fights. All of these make for really good lanes for Lilia. You'll be able to kite foes back and forth, whittling them down over time with trade after trade. The build we have for you is a good go-to in all matchups, but if you really want to shut down an AD foe, you can rush Frozen Heart to make their life a living hell. You'll still do decent damage while taking pretty much none in return. The final top laner for today is Illawi. If you're the type of player that likes to plant yourself in a side lane and just split to win 100% of the time, then she's the one for you. The game plan with Alawi is to bully lane early, bully side lanes and mid game and bully all the way to the enemy nexus. I'm not exaggerating, you should pretty much never be grouped with your team. Ilawi is really susceptible to being kited in 5v5s, but if you just sit in a side lane and force them to come to you, you can take on the entire enemy team in the right situation. Taking a look now at some junglers, the first pick we have is Warwick. Warwick is one of the easiest champions in the game, making him great for entry-level junglers. A lot of times, players equate difficulty to how good a champion is. A high skill floor must mean that champion is OP, right? Well, that couldn't be farther from the truth. Warwick may be noob friendly, but he's also super broken with arguably the best 1v1 capabilities of any champion in the jungle or even the entire game. Our second pick is Kha'Zix. He may not be quite as OP as he was in previous meta since the durability patch did hit assassins pretty hard, but Kha'Zix is still a more than capable carry. He can still very easily make picks on squishy AD carries and can even be built sort of flexibly with bruiser and anti-tank options available if needed. For months and even years now, we warned you guys to stay away from AP Shivana. But now that this new build has caught on this season, the opposite is true. If you want some of the easiest LP you've ever farmed, we're telling you to abuse her. This build basically makes Shivana an AP juggernaut. She's too tanky to just nuke down, but does way too much damage to ignore. Now for the mid lane. The first pick we have for you is Zillion. When you pick him, you're really relying on your team to do damage in fights. So when everyone is doing bad, don't expect to 1v9 with him. Losses are going to happen. But in the vast majority of your games, the insane utility he provides is going to get much better consistency than trying to lock in hard carries every game. So it ends up in a net positive to your LP. The second mid laner we have for you is Gragas. This may sound like a bit of a troll off meta pick for our three main series, but trust me, Gragas mid is really strong. In fact, patch to patch, it tends to be his best role by quite a bit. He has good wave clear, strong poke, and the potential to pull off deadly combos when you get good at lining up his barrels. Once you reach two or three items, he's basically a one-shotting machine, so you should be able to make it pretty much impossible for the enemy carries to play fights, especially when you have your flash up. 
Our third mid laner is Annie, and like Warwick, she's another example of an old, simple champion being anything but outdated. Annie's mechanics are very easy to get a grasp on, so really, you just have to learn when you have the damage to kill someone. My best advice is that you generally don't want to use your first ult in a 1v1 unless the target is already pretty low. Wait for your jungler to guarantee an easy one-shot combo then. Moving things down to the bottom lane, the first pick we have is Swain. Ever since his mid-scope update, he's been an absolute monster of a pick, pretty much being either really good or downright broken in all four laning roles. Riot pushed a few nerfs, but even after all that, he's still in our god tier down here. It seems like they're pretty happy with where he's at. In fact, they're sort of indirectly buffing him lately since they've been nerfing the enchanters that pair with better traditional AD carries and are now looking to buff engage supports which pair well with him. The second bot lane carry we have is Karthus. Now the big flaw in Karthus' design is that he scales harder than almost any other champion in the game, but his early game is so strong that it's pretty much impossible to lose lane with him. Karthus outshoves everyone, so the only option for trying to stop him from farming is to force an all-in. But all-in in Karthus is a very dangerous thing. Even if you take him down, odds are he easily returns at least one kill, if not two in his passive, and sometimes can even farm the wave while dead. As far as his items go, you do not need to go Zanya's second. Everyone seems obsessed with that item on him, but trust me, just build more damage, go into fights, and abuse the combo of last stand with his passive. You'll carry way harder that way. The final bot lane carry we have for you is Tristana, and honestly, Trist has been in a decently healthy spot for a while now, so I'm not sure why they're giving her a buff. It isn't a huge buff or anything, but that, along with even Shroud being buffed, means that Tristana kill lanes are gonna be pretty scary. She's maybe not quite as consistent as Sivir, but her super high snowball capabilities give her way more 1v9 potential when you come out of laning phase fed. Next up, we've got our supports. The first pick here is Zyra. If you're a support player that lives to crush the laning face, then you need to give her a try. The fact that she's getting buffed this patch is crazy to me. She's already one of the best supports in the game. She gives you the ability to shove and poke, but unlike the typical poke champion, she has incredible burst and great DPS, so she's amazing for all-in fights as well. This is a really weird patch in my opinion. Zyra and Triss are both being buffed despite both already being more than viable. Even Shroud is being buffed while already having a really high win rate on most champs that build it. Meanwhile, Zeri is getting another nerf due to pro play even though her win rate is in the mid 40s for the rest of us. And that brings us to today's question of the day. What are some champions or items that could actually use some buffs and nerfs? Tell us what's been too OP or too bad for way too long down in the comments below. Now, without further ado, let's get back on topic. Our second pick is Velkos. Everything I said about Zyra pretty much applies here. The difference is that he doesn't have quite the burst and CC chain that makes Zyra so good at going for all ins. But he definitely has some pros over her. He helps shove the lane better than she does, and while his poke is harder to land, it also hits a lot harder. Also, what he lacks in a hard CC chain, he makes up for by having an ult that can almost erase entire teams if you're able to get out a full combo. So, do your very best to position well in 5v5s and look to let it rip when your allies find a good engage. And finishing off our list, we've got Rel. Compared to our last two picks, Rel is a way, way weaker laner, but you don't pick Rel to win lane. You pick Rel to win teamfights. Her CC potential is nuts, with her combo easily being one of the most satisfying in the game. That said, Rel does have a bit of a learning curve, and playing her it definitely isn't as easy as press R go win like some other engaged champions. In fact, you rarely can just be the first one to start a fight. I mean, with flash up, you may be able to do something fancy, but most of the time, you either wait to follow up on an ally's engage, or you're countering the enemies. And that does it for our top three champions to main on 1216. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, be sure to subscribe so you never miss out on our meta guides and so you're always in the loop on what the best picks are. 
Remember to let us know what champions and items are way overdue for some balancing down in the comments below. <clears throat> Divine Sunder. And one last thing, don't forget to check out our Discord in the description box below where you can discuss League further or just hang out and be a part of our community. I can't wait to see you guys back for the next video, but until then, good luck on the Rift and may the LP God smile down upon you.